Hello everyone, I am Garrett Oakamber, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. This is Alpha 17, the official release, and I'm adjusting my seat here so I can prepare myself for the awesome. That is Alpha 17. Dear friend, I know, you're going to die. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know that. And it already is running even better than the, uh, the experimental. This is the official build for Alpha 17, and I am in a randomly generated map, of course. We are going to be giving ourselves a helicopter, as I said in the streams before. Um, but outside of that, I don't think we're going to give ourselves anything else. And, I mean, obviously we need fuel for the helicopter. Let's, let's not be hasty here. Uh, but... I have also discovered... I, I don't recall there being a third option for zombie speeds. And there is a third option. There's now a third option for zombie speeds, and that third option is actually pretty terrifying. It's called Nightmare. And I've set them to Nightmare speeds at night. So I don't know what's going to happen at night. <laughs> I don't know. Now, the, thing, the dilemma I'm having here is, should I, like collect something before I go off flying into the sunset? I mean... Hmm... I don't know. I think we should at least make ourselves an axe before we go anywhere. Because axes are useful. You know? Who doesn't need an axe? Yucca seeds, glass panes, gunpowder... We're not using any of that stuff at the moment. I don't even know what to do with the yucca seeds. I have no idea what they're used for. Ah, we found some free gas. That's gonna be incredibly useful considering... I'm going to be having a helicopter early. We're still going to give ourselves a stack of gas. Just to make sure we can use it for a while. But, um, again, getting extra gas now is a really good thing. Yeah, it feels a lot smoother. I mean, that could just be because the world is brandly, you know, brandly new. Brand new and generated. No issues there. Alright. Axe. Axe. We need more stone. Of course we do. Give me those stones, please. Stones are insanely useful for our needs. Those of you who are returning to this video series on this game, you know by now I have a proclivity for uh, archery, things like that. We're not going to be deviating from that. However, being able to craft better quality bows is definitely something I want to do, and that's now isolated in its own little tree. So we have to get ourselves as good with archery as we can, while still being as smart. We got a mining helmet right off the bat, that's really good. While being smart enough to, uh... Hmm. I was looking around to see if there's any easy loot spots, but there isn't. We don't have a weapon currently, so... That zombie is going to be a problem for us if we get close. Can I loot this before uh, I get bit? These cars aren't loading in properly. I'm not sure why. The resolution's kind of low on them. Early bow making supplies. I very much enjoy that. Can I make that axe now? Thank you. That's good. Wouldn't consider that a weapon, though. <laughs> Melee sucks in this game. So we're going to find a place to put down this... Uh, Helicopter, and then we're gonna fly away. Um, I should probably check the settings since this is brand new, and they may have changed things on me. Um, 1920 by 1080, yes, full screen, yes, V-Sync, yes, Gamma. Uh huh. Oh, it wasn't even on Ultra. That's why. That explains a lot. Show distance far away. Reflection quality, texture quality. Ultra far motion blur, yes. Some of these will take place when I restart, which kind of sucks. Question is, what's happening right now? I think the shadows distance is what's gonna actually uh, take effect when I restart. Yeah, now the game's stuttering a little bit. You know. It's a shame, I've got a really nice computer here, and I have an SSD drive, but it's still... can't even use eggs, so there's no point in keeping them. 
Um, it can't handle, <laughs> for some reason, this game. It can handle everything else. Atlas, Ark, can handle uh, just about everything else. We're gonna wear this. Nope. Uh, could you actually wear it, please? Thank you. Okay. Let's get ourselves this. Let us get ourselves a helicopter. I should say a gyrocopter. It's not a uh, helicopter by any stretch of the imagination. Okay. And we're going to give ourselves some gas. Yes. Oh. Uh, fuel. All right. Try to get, you know, not in a bad position here. There we go. I have to learn how to uh, fly this all over again, but that's that's fine. Okay, that's right. C makes us go that way. Space makes us go up. Well, it doesn't exactly make you go up. It uh, it's hard to describe. Yeah, the, the controls are really weird. If you haven't used one of these yet, it's pretty strange. So there is a town over there. It's generating in new. You can see that. There is also a desert past there. We're actually in a town, but most of the buildings are wrecked. Our goal... Oh, I gotta I got turn off that motion blur. That's horrible. I hate that. Motion blur, motion blur. No. Off. Thank you. I like motion blur, don't get me wrong. I just don't like it in games. <laughs> Which is weird. Because <laughs> most of your examples of motion blur are in video games. I, I don't like it uh, interfering with the game. Because a lot of games, they do it very poorly. So you're like, oh, yay, motion blur. Uh, everything's like all foggy and shit. And it, it just, it fucks with the game. Like an arc, it was horrible. I couldn't even see where I was going in arc. There's also no first person in vehicles, so I can't exactly do that. However, I don't think uh, first person in this would be such a good idea. Now my question is, how am I gonna land this thing? Actually, better yet, how am I gonna take off? Cause it seems to kinda control like an airplane, it needs a runway. A, a small runway, but it needs a runway. If I can land on top of a building and maneuver this thing... Oh, oh shit, okay. I didn't know that was a radiation zone. How was I supposed to know? I might die. Excuse me? Did I not die? I just started. That's the border? But there's snow over there! Damn it! <laughs> I wanted to go to the snow. That's not fair, game. That's not fair. <laughs> I want to live in the desert. There's desert for miles. There's more snow up there. So we could go in that direction there. I, yeah, I didn't know. This is random gen, so. That's right, it always spawns you close by to, like, the wall. I should have known one of these areas was going to be uh, a point of no return. This is cool, though. Being able to just fly above everything. Not a care in the world. I think, quite honestly, we could afford to build up in a mountain somewhere. Because we have this. We could build our own place as opposed to living inside of a building. I mean, these mountains are surrounded by both wilderness and there's buildings. And since the zombies have a nightmare run speed... I don't know what that means exactly. I'm just... I'm pretty sure that's pretty bad for me. Uh, these mountains could be our savior. If we decide to live up in them. At the same time, I really want to live in the cold for once. There's actually an entire snow region over there. That's a really long distance away, but I think this one's closer. I'm assuming this is a snow region too, because it's all white. As opposed to the desert there. But that's incredibly flat land, so... Think about zombie migrations. Think about what that could mean for us. How bad that'd be. But this build, uh, this sorry, this cliff here is easy to land on. 
probably be very easy to take off from, too. There's a parking garage down there. That'd be a good place to also, you know, have a base, because it's made of concrete, and there's a lot of room for us to land. Um, but at the same time, we're taking in a lot of things into consideration. We have a vehicle that we very much would like to keep with us. That's kind of the point that we have it. So we'll make things a lot easier for us. At the same time, finding a place that can accommodate such a vehicle and making sure we don't lose this vehicle. Either from running out of gas and then falling to our death. <laughs> or, uh, in general, getting murdered by every zombie out there. Having it blow up. Um, those are all things we need to take into account. But, there's some big buildings here. Some flat buildings. In fact, there's a hotel right there. That could be pretty good for us to land on, right? That's what I'm thinking. And this is snow. That's a graveyard down there. This is snow. This is exactly where I want to be. I kind of feel I want to be here since it's, you know, Christmas, and we don't actually have snow right now, so... I'm upset about that. That's a nice old house. Look at that place. That's cool. That's cool. Hmm... This building will still be tricky to land on. And we are running low on fuel here. We could refuel. Um, in a moment. You know what? I think we'll land to refuel. And we'll see how easy this will be to... There we go. Okay. Let's refuel. Takes a considerable amount of... Uh, that's a lot of zombies. Um, stuff. Yeah. Gas. Arrows. Let's make the iron arrows, since we can make more and they're stronger. We're gonna want to kill these guys. There's a lot of them. And as long as one of them isn't a feral, I think, um... We should be good. Okay, how good am I at sneaking now? <laughs> Remember, we no longer have our sneaking bonuses. Oh, I missed. Okay, that's a kill. That's a kill. It seems they changed the unskilled archery, like, traje trajectory. It's, uh, very, uh, shallow. Either that, or I'm just shit. Okay. A lot of these textures aren't loading in properly. They're still in medium settings, so we're gonna have to, uh, restart at some point just to get everything to run smoothly. But hey, we're off to a good start. That's good. take that stuff. We're a little over encumbered, but that's fine. We have a vehicle, so it doesn't matter too much. In fact, I think I can carry things in that. I don't know if it's going to impact the vehicle, but maybe. Ooh, guns. We have a shotgun. We have, we have basically one of each kind of gun. That's a really good way to start off. Then again, I do in fact have a vehicle that allows me to do this. Let's, um... Yeah, we do have storage. Okay. Okay. I can totally do this. Why am I drat? Why don't I just do this? <laughs> Got the ability to do this. We might as well. Um, Put that in there, put that in there. Probably eat those pretty soon. Got raw meat, which we can't do anything with. Okay, I'm gonna reset my game really quick. And hopefully textures will load in a little bit smoother. Okay. Well, oh, there's a there's a zombo there. Um. Hmm. Oh. That didn't do squat. <laughs> Not a very uh, good start with a gun, but it is what it is. That's right. We can't just loot zombies anymore. Gotta remember that. 
You can't just loot zombies anymore. We will take that torch. You know, before we leave this uh, hotel... really good tools to get in there. No, nothing behind the portrait. The game is beautiful, though. It looks so crisp and beautiful now. Okay, I want to go deeper into the snow if I can. Ah, nope, nope, back. Yeah, I knew we were going to take some damage there. It's kind of annoying, but... Airborne, 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 airborne. There we go. Okay. Took a little damage. I don't think we'll be able to repair this thing either, but... At the very least, we're airborne. And that's kind of the problems here. You have to push forward to actually go anywhere. Um, so this snow zone is, is cool. There's a lot of buildings, a lot of places we can go, but... Again, the mountains are kind of calling me. I think we should go to a mountain and live up there. We haven't looted much this day. Not much at all. Here we are just barely hanging on. We're making our way over. Over these ruined areas. What is that? Is that a floating building? No, that's a... Oh. It's like a highway. That's cool. So, I decided not to land on that because that was really shallow. It was like a steep landing. I did not want to, I don't know, run the risk of crashing this thing into the ground at the same time. Um, I've never seen the highway before, so I don't know if there's, like, explosives or something laying around. A little bit cautious. Then again, I don't like living in the uh, ruined city zones anyway, so... I wouldn't have encountered the highway any other place. There's like a giant church in the distance over there. That could be cool to check out. Let's take a look at this hill here. Let's see what there is. I see a desert and a grassland. This could be a good spot to live in or around. This hill though, uh, this mountain, I should say, is a, it's a lot uh, shallower to the ground though. Now I'm sightseeing. I have the luxury of sightseeing. I have the luxury of thinking about where I want to live. But the problem is, is that, uh... Despite my best plans, my best laid plans, this, this could, uh... blow up in my face. Be like, oh, this looks like a nice spot. And it could end up being really bad. Or I could end up running out of gas by the time I'm done sightseeing. So, let's get closer to that other town over there. And I think this snow area, like, here or over there, is probably the best options we're going to get because it is split up near other territories. So we end up freezing to death, we could just walk over somewhere and be fine. Or, you know, we, have, we, we just have an example of a variety of places to loot. We need certain resources. We're, we're very able to go get those resources. I like this mountain range here. Mountains are a little bit steeper. Whether or not we can access them with our craft is unknowable, but... I like it. It looks nice. It looks nice. Is it nice? I don't know. <laughs> and at the very least, we get access to digging tools. Hey, there's water down there. We get access to digging tools. I like this area. I like this area a lot. I think I might make this my home. We could start, uh, fortifying the- oh, nope, come on. Ah! <laughs> we could start fortifying this place. Um, and here's one thing. Because of how steep these are, I think living just down over here is a good idea. So let's, uh, are we even, even on top of here? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
It's getting afternoon, but... Oh, shit, shit, shit. We did that to ourselves. Okay, okay. We're good. Yeah, this is actually hard to pilot. Alright. This is hard to pilot. <laughs> it is actually hard to pilot. Um, we could create a platform here. Now, if I pick that up, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to lose all the items that was in it. So, let's not. We'll start creating platforms. We do have a lot of frames already from exploring. Oh no, hiccups, please. The hiccups are trying to return. Yesterday's stream was was fraught with hiccups. Let's eat that food, because we haven't eaten yet. We're gonna have to go get food and water. We started out with a small care package, but we need food and water. We got this. We got this. God, my axe is running low on durability. Okay. First of all, I think we'll, uh... Repair that. It's good to see they still let you repair without destroying the item. Which is nice. Um, put that down. Put that down. Yeah, we could live up here, and for the most part, we're immune to most attacks by zombies. I do realize I kind of screwed up there, but it's fine. We can stand one weak spot in this foundation. Forgot how slow it is now to repair, or reinforce, I should say. But hey... I think we can met out a good existence up here. Since it's going to be hard for zombies to spawn around us and actually do anything, but eventually they might wear down the mountain. That that might take a very long time. We're out of wood now. So this tree. It might take a very long time for them. It could still happen. Let's not believe that there is no way they can't destroy the mountain. Now they, I think they can come up this hill here. They do have one approach. So I should probably take back my statements about being immune to attack, but you yeah. know. <laughs> We're better off than being on the ground. I'm doing one reinforcing on these. Just one for now. Again, I'm not too worried about the occasional zombie coming over here and destroying it. It's going to be still a far cry for them to get up here without me noticing. Unless they spawn on here, which is going to be stupid, but that can happen. Anything can happen. <laughs> it's seven days to die. Anything can happen. Now, my only issue is, how can I catch the helicopter when it's, you know, coming down? Like, we're going to land on this. So how do we catch it without putting up a wall? I guess we have to put a wall? Or maybe I just build a really long ramp, you know? It seems to stop moving the second you get off of it, though. So I think all I have to do is immediately get off of it and hope it doesn't fly off the edge. <laughs> I guess we'll put a little wall at the end just so we can uh, say, stop moving, don't don't roll down the hill, please. <laughs> but, eh. I don't know. Okay, so I'm building this, but I think we should head into town really quick to get supplies because I'm going to start running out of food and water. I have nothing to compensate that. So we're going to get this last tree here. And then we're going to immediately head into town. Because if I start dying immediately and I have nothing to make up for that, we're in trouble. We have a bedroll, though, so that's good. Something I often forget to make is a bedroll. So we have that, which is good. I reinforced that there just because it was the only one at the time that I placed down. What was that sound? Oh, we did a quest thing, that's right. 
Um, let's do uh, frames. Come on. Thank you. All right. We've got frames. Ironic that we have seven of them in slot seven, but hey, it's a life. All right. This is going to be the start of the runway. But let's think about where we're going to place our bedroll. And I think we'll place it over here. Nothing crazy. It's serving a purpose at the moment. And I'm going to predict already. This might be the best survival run I've had in a while. And I might be, you know, biting off more than I can chew here. Might be like, oh, yeah, you know, I think I'm good. I think it's going to be the best, uh... What was that? Level up? Oh, we started a quest. Okay. I was confused by what that was and a little bit perturbed. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you know what? We're just going to put this down here for now. Nope. Nope. Please. That was such a waste of wood. There we go. Alright. Let's head into town now. Let's not break the bed already, please. Because that would be bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to hold my breath there. So we're in this, yeah, we're in that little region there. You can see our base right there. Uh, in the making. We have to get a lot of wood. So, if I see a lumber mill, I think that'd be worth investigating. But first, food. There's a few marts, it looks like. There's a church. That's the big church, I think. I think that's the big church. Or that could be City Hall. I'm not sure. There's a school over there. That's a big school. It's cool looking. Um, that looks like it's a pharmacologist place. There's homes. Homes usually have food. So we'll settle down somewhere. Yeah, that's a city hall or a library over there. Uh, this looks like a fast food place. It is. Okay. So let's settle ourselves down. You just basically don't touch anything and you hope you don't hit a tree or something. And there are farms here nearby. That's good. Okay, we have landed. I'm still alive. These are potato plants. We could totally eat potatoes if we wanted to. Can't just pick them up, though. It's weird. Take one row for now. Let's go to the grill. Do I have enough room? Mm -hmm. Let's put things in here. storage. Put those seeds in there. Put our potatoes in there. We have blueberries as well. Actually, I should put a thousand gas in there. I'll take the 33 gas in case I need it. I'm gonna make more arrows. Yes. Should probably make a bunch of arrows now since we're in the thick of it. Now we're trying our best to actually go out into the world and do things. Always pick up stones, though, for repairing or for emergency arrows. Building iron arrows first, so we've got a good, strong starting advantage. And the cars are much higher resolution now, so it's good to know my settings actually stuck. Claw hammer, that's a big get early. That is great. That is great. And I hear zombies. They are angry. The big frosty guy, which we're going to encounter a lot of these in the snow zone, but hey, I think we can master this place early on. We're good. Thank you for your shit. I would like to get in this diner. There are iron bars on the windows, though, so that's not happening. Um, this one, however, easy to break into. 
We need to repair this. Repair. As long as nothing comes up behind me, I think we'll be good. Leg. Okay. Sift through everything we can. We should pick up the lights. That needs to be an item that you can get at some point, because Project Zomboids had those since the beginning. Why wouldn't this game? They're both great games. They do what they do very well. I don't know what that is. That's just concrete. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's help you out. Oh, never mind. The door is actually open. <laughs> Let's go, everybody. I clicked on it. The door is actually open. Good to know zombies haven't yet learned how to open doors. I think they should do, like, humans that are turning. And they kind of move erratically fast at times, but then they get really slow as they start to succumb to the disease. And when you kill them after, like, a couple minutes, if you don't dispose of their corpse, they actually get up. Or maybe a couple seconds. They, like, start turning. That'd be neat to see. Murky water. We can always turn that into uh, actual. That isn't creepy at all. <laughs> oh, we can open. Okay, okay, we can just open that. That's fine. Gun? Nope. Actually, the water's more valuable than the gun at the moment, but it is what it is. I like to see some of these new sinks, these new uh, textures. It's really cool. Um, nothing here. It destroys boxes. And I will get cloth fabric. I just don't know if there's anything in these boxes. I was questioning that a while ago. Is there anything that drops from these? No. Okay. There's a sports bag, though. It's kind of hidden. But that was worth it. That was worth it. Thank you very much. We have to make a storage box at some point, but I also desperately need a... Like a bag... That door open. See, this would be a good spot to live in, too. Um, starting out, like, night one. But... I've already decided we're gonna live out in the wilderness. We don't have to deal with spawning in crap. I mean, occasionally zombies will spawn in in the local countryside, but... Very happy to have gotten an extra shot off of her. Very happy to get that extra shot. Oh, missed it. We have one more iron. Ultimately, not a bad use of our arrows. Definitely not a bad use. Okay, we gained a level. Oh, that's good, that's good. It is getting dark. Oh! Fuck me. Okay, we have no more, uh... We're gonna have to take a shot. We're gonna... Well, not like that. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. God, I miss my, uh, purple weapons. <laughs> now, every zombie in the area knows where we are. But... Look what we found. This was wor This was totally worth it. This was worth it. Ooh, ammo piles? That's new. At least I haven't encountered that before. That's new. And these are working stiff tools. Shotgun Messiah. And it looks like another Shotgun Messiah. So we're going to be good. Um, we've got water. Did we actually pick up food? We did. Good. Oh, we're getting everything we need. A pickaxe, a sledgehammer. We are doing great. I just got a compound bow. <laughs> which has secured our bow for the future until we can make a better bow until we can make a better bow um yeah we we are we are good we are good here um let's get that compound bow ready we have a pickaxe now we've got an iron helmet right off the bat which is very nice uh, we got an extra hunting rifle I'm gonna actually scrap that one because you know I don't actually need an extra hunting rifle. Okay, um, I think we got everything that we came to get. We just need the food for a night. We could avoid travesty here. 
and just head out while we have things. Okay. I, yes. We do need more arrows, though, for the night. So we should break some trees along the way, but we're, we're kind of running slow. Let's be mindful. It is afternoon. The sun is going down. And there's going to be a lot of zombies coming. We don't have a safe, like an actual safe place for the night. Like, despite having a home, we don't have an actual safe place, so... We need to get to our vehicle. Okay, I threw that tree. That was interesting. I don't know how I did that. I am strong! Okay. I gotta stop collecting things, but here I am collecting things. Stop doing it, Garrett. Just just stop. Please, just one more rock. Okay, I'm good. We have to get back to our, uh, our thing. Still there. It's still there. We haven't attracted too much attention just yet. There's a stump over there, but I don't think it's a hollowed out stump. I gotta check, though. Don't I? I know there's trash over there, but I'm more interested to see if this is not hollowed out. No. No. Okay, there's a zombie there. I may have to kill the zombie. Toss the egg again, because we don't need the egg. Uh, arrows. Make 11 arrows. That's decent. We could keep, like, looting. It's just, I don't know what's going to happen. With nightmare speed. I don't know what nightmare speed entails. Do they leap? I don't know. Alright. So this is the perfect runway. But it's on the ground. Oh, let's not stall. Thank you. See, I feel a lot better once we're in the air. The only thing that can get us is a flying, uh, infected, such as the vulture. And if the bees are still in the game. I hope the bees are still in the game. In some aspect. Even if it's like a rare encounter, I'd like to see them return. They were cute. <laughs> in a horrible sort of way. <laughs> okay. Back to our home. And maybe we'll have enough time to build ourselves a basic shack. I'd probably do well to build spikes in that ramp going up to our home. We do need to keep in mind, though, when we finally run out of gas, we're going to have to have a way of getting down the mountain. So maybe a ladder system, maybe we'll work on that once we get the actual building done. Because we have a lot of gas. We have a lot of gas. We've already got a claw hammer. We have the means to repair. We have the means to fortify fast. We need a repair ham- uh, not a repair hammer, a wrench. We need a wrench. That's the next thing we need. Okay. That was perfect. Okay. <laughs> so let's uh, think about this here. Frames. Frames. That's something we don't exactly have. Um, if I have to get out of dodge quickly, I'm gonna, you know... I'm going to. I'm gonna get in my vehicle. I'm gonna go. Triple storage pocket. I think that's used for clothing. That's what I'm thinking. Electric wire re relay. We don't need that. Hunting rifle. Another hunting rifle. It's actually better than the one we have. Maybe I should. Yeah, I should totally do that. Uh, we have a sledgehammer, which I'm not going to use at the moment. Diamonds. We got diamonds? Oh, that's exactly what I didn't want to hear. Good for now. It doesn't. It doesn't actually see us. I think. I think. I'm kind of, you know, hoping it doesn't see us. We need to get wood. This is a problem. Ooh. There's no zombies around us currently. None that I can see, at least. I get it, I get it. Okay. This is gonna attract some attention. Remember, they're on nightmare speed. 
I don't know what nightmare speed is. I don't like it. Maybe I should switch to the shotgun. I should totally switch to the shotgun. But let's just hope there are no zombies here. It's not dark, dark, but it is night. I found... Yeah, I see you. I found the vulture. <laughs> Over there, this is getting a little eerie here. It's a little bit eerie. We're not cold yet. I don't know why. Why am I not cold? Oh, we have 44 minutes of elemental protection because of spawning in. That's cool. I guess that answers the question, like, if you spawn in a snow zone, will you die immediately? Not from the cold, you are. I also thought I was playing uh, Atlas for a moment. I just tried to, uh... I was thinking I had to put away the axe to collect things, but I don't. Okay, we're not worried about building the uh, thing there. We're more concerned building a house. Well, a, a container. Building a container. Hope that fucking bird doesn't come over here. I don't want to deal with them at the moment. I really don't. Ah, yeah, see? That's working now. That's how it's supposed to be done. Not like that glitchy thing that happened the last time we played. That was glitchy. Who remembers that? I remember that. We have wood? No, we have wood. Why is it not letting me... Weird. I think it's the grass is in the way. Get it. You can't jump while sneaking. Good god. You can sneakily jump. I can sneakily jump. know how to sneakily jump. I don't know about you, game developers. You can be as quiet as you need to be. The moon is eerie. I like it. I like it. Okay. Let's, um, do a door. We're running low on wood. I swear. I can't fire a gun off, because if I do, I'm in trouble. There he is. He's circling around. Does it actually see us? I don't like that. I, I don't, I don't like it. I don't know if it's gonna, like, alert the presence of other, you know, to, it's not gonna, it's like, gonna literally tell on me. It's gonna be like, hey, there's a human over here. Deal with one vulture. I think it's getting ready to attack. I don't always know what they're planning on doing. That's my problem. I don't know what the vulture wants. If I feed you a potato, will you go away? Probably not. Probably won't. I'm trying to get you there. There we go. Hmm. Go away, vulture. I don't want to deal with your shit right now. I guess this is as good as I'm gonna get. Like, I don't like that he keeps... keeps, like, patrolling. My backup is against here. He can only attack from the front and this side. He can't attack from this door. <sighs> How much wood? Frame. Hopefully that doesn't take up all the wood. Okay.
It's a really low ceiling, but it's gonna have to do for now. No, I don't like how low it is. I don't know, at the same time, it's perfectly fine, I guess. My character can't stand up her full height. Can't jump, but... good. Doing good on this first night. <laughs> We're going to force this a little bit. We're going to run out of wood pretty soon, but it's fine. I'll have to make a lookout tower too, and this is more fleshed out. Um, some sort of uh, observatory. And I think the vulture's gone. I think it, it just lost interest, or it was looking for an opportunity to mess with me. And he was like, nah, he's not going to. He's not going to give me an opportunity. Well, we're going to end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this so far. I'm excited to play Alpha 17 and continue the series. I'll be doing live streams of this as well, so check out the playlist there on the channel. And be sure to keep an eye out for my live streams. Uh, they're not the best, but they're decent. <laughs> Thank you again for watching. For those of you who have supported the channel this long, Thank you so much and for donating and being there, at least just being there and saying, hey, how you doing, Garrett? You know, it means a lot to me. And I'll see you all later. Have a great, great night.